Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the next tool, which is the dropper tool. The tool here with the dropper icon is the dropper tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key D. This tool is used to pick a color from any object and assign it to any other object. Just select the object whose fill color you want to change, then select the dropper tool to pick the desired color and it will be assigned to the selected object, like this. Let's discuss different functions we can perform using the dropper tool. You can change the fill and stroke color of any object using the dropper tool. A simple left click will change the fill color of the object. The box with the dropper icon shows which color will be applied. To change the stroke color of the object, use the shift key and the stroke color will be applied like this. When you press and hold the shift key, the box is changed to the border box. This indicates that it is showing the stroke color, and the shift click will apply that color to the selected object's stroke, like this. If you click, hold and drag with the dropper tool, it will form a circle like this. This will pick an average color inside the circle you form, and assign that color to the selected object, like this. Alt key pick and assign the inverse color. For example, if you press the Alt key over this color, then the box with the dropper icon will show you the inverse color of color under the dropper tool, and if you click it this will be assigned to the selected object, like this. When you hover over any color with the dropper tool, you can see its color code down here in the status bar. With Ctrl C, you can copy this color code into the clipboard. This feature helps in making a color palette file where you need color codes for each color. Let's discuss different options for the dropper tool. Dropper tool has only two options, pick and assign. Both these options are related to the opacity of the object. These options tell the dropper tool to whether pick the color with its opacity value or not. Let's take this object as an example. This object is filled with red color, and opacity is reduced to 50%. We have created these black boxes behind these objects to show the transparency of each object in each case. Now if we disable pick, and then pick color from this object then it will result in the same light red color but with 100% opacity. In other words, it will pick the exact visible color, which is light red in this case, and the opacity of the object will not be changed. If we enable pick and disable assign, then it will result in the original color of the object with 100% opacity, which is red in this case. In other words, it will pick the color that the object would have if its opacity was 100%. If we enable both pick and assign, then it will pick the original color with its opacity value. That was all about the dropper tool and its different options. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website or social media, their links are in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.